Hey uh, YouTubers, Tazman here bringing you another Minecraft snapshot and finally we have some feature updates for Minecraft 1.11 so this is Minecraft snapshot 16w39a and they uh, just barely told us what is in it during Minecon they've been keeping all this stuff secret so let's go ahead and take some time and check out what's new Oh, I did it right. Okay, so one of the first things we're going to talk about is there are some new mobs. Now, I'm going to tell you about some, but we're not going to see them right away. We're going to see them in just a little bit. But uh, there's new mobs that are rejected or outcast villagers named Illagers. And there are two types. There's a Vindicator and there is an Evoker. Evoker, Evoker, whatever. Um, we also have... Um, and, well, let's see. So, also, the, so let's just talk a quick little bit about these two, uh, the Illagers. There's the Vindicator, and they kind of look like weird, undeadish kind of Illagers. And like I said, we're going to go see them in just a few minutes, but I just wanted to let you know this part. So, anyway, the, the Illager, that's, his name is a Vindicator. He has an iron axe and he drops emeralds when you kill him and he just kind of attacks you. Then there's another one that's kind of like a mini boss and the Illager, is, he's an evoker and he's kind of like a magician so he can evoke little tiny ghost-like mobs called Vex or Vexes and they are a small flying mob and they can fly through blocks so they can kind of phase in and out of blocks and through blocks they get red marks on them when they're about to attack and they yield, wield, yield, they wield the sword. And then the Illagers, so they can conjure those guys or evoke those, or invoke, evoke, evoke those guys, whatever. Uh, but he also has a cool attack called the Fang Attack. When you get near, he shoots out this little thing in the ground that looks like little bear traps that close on you and hurts any mobs that are on it. So, like I said, we're going to find those guys in just a, a little bit. Uh, and then, if you kill the Vindicator, generally they'll drop emeralds. They might also drop a weapon, like their Iron Axe that they were holding. And the uh, Evoker, if you kill them, they drop something called a Totem of Undying. And also have a chance of dropping emeralds. Or, well, actually, I guess it's to a chance of dropping the Totem of Undying. So we're going to go check those guys out in just a minute, but I needed to mention those since we're talking about new mobs. Uh, the other new mob we have that is a villager is a librarian type, and he is not a librarian. He is actually a cartographer, or a cartographer, cartographer, whatever. Uh, so he's from the library um, librarian robe look, and what he does is he can sell you things along the lines of maps. So when I first clicked on this guy, he only had the one trade. I don't need that stuff. Uh, he only had the one trade, 28 paper for one emerald. And after I did that, then he unlocked this one where I could sell him a compass and he'd give me one emerald. And then finally, or yeah, no, then he had one and <laughs> he had where I give him seven emeralds and he gives me an empty map. And then finally, he opened up his last two trades and it is 19 emeralds and a compass and you get this new map called Ocean Explorer map and also for 23 emeralds, well a little more is 23 emeralds for and a compass for the Woodland Explorer map so anyway I went ahead and got those this is these are the trades so first was paper for an emerald compass for an emerald emerald for paper then five or not five then it was emeralds and a compass for that and emeralds and a compass for that I didn't get the actual numbers and let's go ahead and just get this stuff out of my inventory real quick because I didn't want it there so anyway that is the new villager the cartographer now what he sells these maps the the ocean explorer map if we click on it we'll grab them both if you click on it what it does is it shows you a map now it's not necessarily where you are because we're kind of in a desert so we're not near an ocean ocean monument at all but as you can see it shows you the land masses and it shows you 
Can I hit enter and okay, good. So as you can see, it shows you land masses that are around it. It shows us where we are relative to this actual map. Uh, and then there's the ocean monuments. So this dot, depending on how big it is, will tell you how far away you are. So we know that this is the southern, the southeastern corner. So in order to get there, we would want to go northwest. So if we went to F3, and we went, let's see, where is our, there it is, facing west, facing north. So if we basically head off in that direction uh, for a long, long, long time, we'd end up finding this. And that, what will happen is the little dot here will be just like regular maps. It, we're probably actually not that far from it because it's pretty big. It's actually pretty small if you're far from it. But uh, as we get closer, it'll get big and then kind of turn into the little thing. And the map will fill in as we get there. Let's, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how far we are from an ocean. Let's just check real quick. Maybe we'll throw this in our offhand real quick. We'll just go this way for a few seconds. Uh, if uh, we don't see any progress, up, we're going up on the map now. And I'm not seeing any change. I don't want to go too far just for that one because all it does is take us to a regular uh, ocean monument. Uh, the one that we really are kind of excited about is this guy. And as you can see, it draws a little house down there. And that is a woodland mansion. And we're going to talk about those also in just a minute. Look at that double map. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so let's go ahead and put... Yeah, we can't do that. Do the F. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. We just want that map, not the other one right now. Uh, so we're going to go there, and that's where we're going to find those three, the, the the illagers that we talked about and the conjured vex or the evoked vex. Now, one of the other things that's kind of new that actually has been said in past snapshots is now if you click on a bed or something, it actually, instead of saying it down in the text area, it actually says it right there in the middle of your screen, lower middle of your screen. So cool stuff. All right, let's grab that out just for now. We're going to put that up here. So let's see. That is our library and villager. Now we have, you'll notice we have all these green villagers too. And they do absolutely nada. Nothing at all. You can't trade with them. You can punch them. They get mad at you. Uh, but you can't do anything else. <laughs> So anyway, uh, these guys have kind of been deemed nitwits is what people have been calling them because they're just villagers that take up space. And I don't know if they're just kind of make it so if you spawn big villages, they're not going to be extremely everything's useful. You have lots of these guys and you can see there are lots of them. It seems like they spawn a little more commonly than your actual useful trading villagers. Uh, the next thing we have is a new passive mob. Well, it's kind of passive. We have these guys over here. Look at them. Llamas. Lots of llamas. And they make irritating sounds. Uh, as you can see, you can put a carpet on them. And it... Who's... Someone sounds like they're going... Like they're going to spit. <laughs> Sing to them. Stop it. Don't... Now, if you do punch them, they will spit at you. I don't know if they'll do it if you're in creative. No. Uh, so if you're not in creative and you punch a llama, it will spit at you once. And the spit does half a heart damage because llamas really do spit. Uh, let's see. Let's do uh, game mode zero. So if we punch this guy, he gets mad at us and spits at us. <laughs> it's kind of funny. No, ouch. <laughs> So anyway, that's what they do. Now the llama here, uh, you can mount it, but you can't control it. You can you can get on it. You can put a carpet on it, which as you can see, I have all 16 carpet colors. If I shift click them, you can see this guy's got yellow carpet. This guy's obviously a green carpet, kind of a pinkish. There's a pink carpet up there, so on and so forth. You can also, if you have a chest, 
Where did I put my other chest? <laughs> oh, they're in my way. So if you have a chest in your hand, simply right clicking. Oh my God, it's raining. Uh, simply right clicking on the llama with the chest will add it to their side. And then of course you can actually go in. Whoop, we want to shift click it to get into the inventory. And whoop, right there. And now you can see he has this tiny little inventory. Not very big, only three slots, but it's something. Um, also, llamas are used a lot with sheep and stuff because they keep the wolves out. So we're gonna put a wolf in here. Now wolves are automatically afraid of llama because I guess they don't like getting spat on. But uh, llamas will go nuts and spit all over this wolf. See him run? Oh, I'm looking at him go. Now you'll also notice another thing. <laughs> the llamas are getting mad at each other and spitting at each other because I think it's that same thing where if uh, you punch a llama, oh, a llama just died. <laughs> it's a spit fest. And I don't think the. Oh, look, we got some leather and our carpet bag. <laughs> Ow! Oh, another llama died. They're really bad aims. The wolf isn't dead yet, but all the llamas are dying. Oh, the wolf's going nuts. <laughs> so there you go. Um, there's the llama. Now, one really neat thing about the llama. Let's see. Let's go back into creative real quick. Ow. Is that wolf ever going to die? Holy cow. He's like shredding the llamas. Uh, let's grab an egg for the llama real quick and put all this stuff in here. So one really cool thing about the llama is if you train one, and I actually, before you can put a carpet on them, you actually have to train them just like you do a horse. And these guys do spawn in the wild, but if we have a couple llama out here, yeah, a baby one, oh, two baby ones, a big one, listening to, it's kind of gross. All right, so if we have some llama out here, and we at least tame one of them by riding him, and I don't see hearts uh, when he is finally tame. But he goes, Meh, <laughs> as you can hear. It seems like he like turns around and looks at you and no longer bucks you off. So he might actually be tame now. So we're gonna jump off right click on him yes he's tame so now what we can do with this guy now this is really cool if you have a bunch with little chests although they only hold three items which isn't very much but let's see where is our lead so if we grab some leads here and we put a lead on this guy because he's ours and we walk past other llama they'll come running up to him and they'll kind of form a caravan so as you can see now they're all interested in following this guy, maybe. I think they're more interested in following each other. Come on. Actually, I wonder if I have to tame them as well. No, the babies are. Oh, there we go. Look at that nice train of llama. A llama train. <laughs> so there you go. So that is the other thing you can do with a llama. Now, how do I get this? Lead off you. Right click. There we go. Alright, so that's our llama. Um, let's see. So let me just check my notes real quick. We went over that. So we talked a tiny bit about the totem of undying. We're actually going to. Hmm. I guess we could do a demo of it, I suppose. I forgot to grab one of those. TOTM, totem of undying. So it looks like this little guy. Now, what the Totem of Undying does is it has to be in your hand, either this hand or this hand. And if you are dealt a killing blow, is there a ravine around here or anything? By the way, if you want this, this uh, it's a pretty nice little seed that I did. Uh, you actually start, where are we? You actually start just on that mountain over there and there's actually a desert temple right over there and I just flew straight over this way but let's let's take our health down a bit here go I'm trying to let's do this and we'll go hmm, 
I want to actually I want to give myself a stack of maybe dirt first doesn't matter what kind all right so now we're gonna go ahead and kind of well that's okay if I take some damage so it took one heart damage there okay we have to really quick we have to get hung we have to make it so we're not gonna regen that'll spoil everything so we're gonna pretend we're these bunnies hopping around come on start deteriorating my health anytime now <laughs> holy cow they did change hunger so that it uh, doesn't deteriorate so fast and that's definitely not helping us in this case oh there you can see the desert temple right over there I thought I okay the little guy the meat pops are now bouncing which means we're out of saturation I believe they're not bouncing a lot though so yeah we spawn just right up by those trees up there right in that corner and then I just ran over to the well flew over to the village Come on, we need to lose a little of our food. Is there a command you can do to deplete your hunger faster? Because, boy, this is lasting forever now. By now, I would have been starving. Boing. <laughs> And we're running and hopping. Maybe we use that when we go fight the... Oh, but then we have to teleport or something. Come on. Well, it might, I'm not 100% sure if it'll work if I do a complete death, but let's try it. <laughs> let's just go up here and... We'll pillar up, say like 30 or so, which will definitely kill us. Now, if we're holding the totem in our hand when we're dealt the killing blow, which I imagine, oh, that's well over 30, isn't it? Sure. We'll, we'll make sure we do the job good. Okay, so that's at least 34. So this will kill us if we fall. And... Oh, there it goes. Look at it. It brought us back to life, and it gives us a little bit of uh, regeneration, and I can't remember the other name. So as you can see, it brought us back to life, and that's what it does, but it does consume it. So that's what the evoker drops. All right, so let's see. What else? We talked about the treasure maps. Um, some things about these treasure maps, you might notice this one's kind of a brownish color, a brown tint to it. Um, and that's the woodland one. The water monument one actually kind of has a bluish tint to it. Oh. As you can see, it kind of has the blue tint right there. Let's go ahead and jump back into game mode. Oh, we don't need this now. What are you guys doing? <laughs> okay. So uh, the next thing we have is there are also two new enchantments and they're actually called cursed enchantments and I don't have any of them here but one you might find it rarely it's more for map makers um, but you can get one that's binding uh, and this kind of was introduced back in the April Fool's uh, snapshot where you would put on that little bracelet or the home alert bracelet thing and you couldn't get it off you you couldn't get it off at all the only way to get it off was either to have its durability deplete and it break or if you died or whatever then it would be dropped as an item and that's exactly what the curse of binding is so you might get a helmet that has okay stats but not super good but you need it at the moment so you wear it uh, but then you can't take it off until it either breaks or um, you die and then it just is an item on the ground uh, then the other one is called the curse of vanishing so this could be an item that's really nice like a powerful sword or something like that but if you die it doesn't drop to the ground it simply vanishes 
So you can keep an eye out for those. They'll actually say Curse of uh, Binding and Curse of Vanishing in their little tooltip description. And then the next thing we're going to talk about is called the Shulker. Oh, I didn't get that ready either, I don't think. Uh, shulker Box. So now when you kill a Shulker, uh, you get Shulker Shells. And you can actually take Shulker Shells and combine them with... Actually, let's show you one other thing that I found. I think something's... I, I think it's being glitchy right now. I don't think it's working completely. Uh, but if we take a sh two Shulker Shells and combine it with a chest, we get a Shulker Box. Now, shulker box is as close to a backpack as you're going to get in Minecraft. And we're going to talk about those in just a minute. So we can take out a shulker box here. And it has the animation of a shulker uh, when you open it and close it. It has basically the same inventory space, 27 blocks, uh, as a regular chest. Oh, and that will be two in a minute. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, one of the nice things about this guy is uh, it's more like a backpack where if we put stuff in it actually let's go over here and we'll talk about it we'll get rid of this one Whoop. so um oh actually no sorry uh one thing i did find is in the inventory screen i noticed that there are a ton of colors of them so as you can see shulker box and they all have different colors they all have the exact same idea and i don't know if that has something to do with uh the fact that they they're glitchy here but anyway it looks like if you take a shulker box and you add one dye you should get a colored shulker box so it should dye the shulker box to the color of uh, the dye however it doesn't seem to work if I do this it just simply says that I have one NBT tag on that now it has two however it doesn't actually change it so you can't actually see a change it's not visual yet um, and if you try, I tried all different combinations. If I do more than one dye or I used any other colored type of thing like wool or carpet or whatever, it doesn't have any kind of recipe. So I'm pretty sure that's the recipe, simply a box with a dye and that gives you your, your shulker, uh, colored shulker box, shell, box, whatever. <laughs> so here we have an example of all the different ones. And you'll notice the bottom of the shulker actually has this cool little design. So uh, if we open one of these, you can see it kind of has that spinny animation. These can be placed in any direction, any orientation. However, unlike a chest where it can open through glass, a shulker box cannot open if the glass is on top of it. So if I had glass right here, it ain't gonna matter because this is actually the side of it as you can see it goes sideways um, but you can get some pretty cool looking things I mean you could put it up in a ceiling like this and open it and put it away or if you have the little cool design facing down as you can see however it will have to have an empty space above it otherwise it ain't gonna work uh, also even if a hoppers on top of it ain't gonna work you have to turn it sideways so the hopper is feeding into its side if you want to be able to access that actual shulker box um, so I did do some testing uh, this is where I found out the hopper even blocks it so I actually had to turn this guy on its side and then it works fine so up here we have 64 diamonds if we activate the hopper here by taking away the redstone signal you'll see the diamonds are going in and they're actually going into the shulker box so that's good news and then we can also turn this one on so that this hopper will start working and you can see that it's going up and down up and down up and down until this finishes but it's actually putting them in here now the, here's the really cool thing I know we've talked about the shulker box but here's the cool thing about the shulker box so if you're in creative and you have stuff in a shulker box you're actually okay because this one here has a bunch of stuff in it this one has nothing if I break this one it just disappears but if I break this one aha I still have my shulker box and if I place it down everything is exactly where I put it so that's why this is like a a backpack because you can actually 
put it in your inventory and you can walk around with it and you could lay it down you can use a pickaxe to break it quickly or you can even break it with your hand but then you just get the little item back and as you can see now I have two of them so um, and then if you mouse over as you can see here you can actually see the contents of the shulker box it only shows you the first uh, what is that five five items um, so if you're placing this guy you wanna put your most identical item in the first one you know like if it's trees or whatever dirt types put a dirt in that one and don't put it way down here or something I don't think it'll show up. oh my heck it's raining again that's Minecraft for you uh, some other things about the shulker box is you can actually use it with droppers and dispensers and hoppers so if we put this shulker box in here this is the one we just got here that had all the 64 wool put that in the dispenser here push the button you can see it shoots it went into the hopper and now it's in the dispenser we can click on all that dumb llama he was just climbed up on top of a cactus <laughs> uh, anyway you can uh, click it in a dispenser and boom it actually places it now uh, one thing I didn't put here real quick that I want to show you if you try and push a box with a piston actually I wonder if it will work with a sticky piston if it will do anything different so if we put a piston hopefully we do this okay oh there we go uh, and you push it with a piston it actually puts it into item mode so you can't really push them not even with a sticky piston I wasn't sure maybe I thought maybe a regular piston would actually break it like that and a sticky would do that so that is the shulker box uh, looks like it's gonna be really cool especially since you can have all the different colors you can uh, organize your stuff and just kind of have that extra inventory space which is cool oh one thing you cannot do with a shulker box is you can't nest them you can't put a shulker box in a shulker box to get infinite storage so don't even try let's get rid of this stuff boop, 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 boop. all right so the next thing we're gonna do is something that's already in the game but uh, actually has an official block now and this is called the observer block and the observer block is basically a bud switch uh, so if we come here and this is how you make it you use six cobble two redstone and one nether quartz I'm gonna grab that real quick and you'll see that I just these are really pointless and kind of stupid but I just want to show an example that just like a bud switch uh, where you could place some redstone in front of it and it updates as you can see here it also updates now in the demo in uh, during minecon they were showing that a repeater was being used to pull a signal out I did some testing and it does not need a repeater to pull the signal out and as you can see I kind of have a little T flip flop going here so there you go that is the new observer block uh, let's see let me just check my thing we talked about that talking about that observer shulker box okay so now uh, we're not gonna go to the end but now in the end you remember after you kill the the ender dragon you get a little gateway portal that takes you to the outer end islands well now randomly generated you will find end portals or little gateways again that will take you from those end islands all the way back to the main islands so it's kinda nice that you'll actually have a two-way trip now easily instead of having to find that original one that spawns you uh, you can just find those other ones uh, they look exactly the same um, and also maps now work when you're mapping in the nether or the, not the nether in the end you actually kind of have end textures instead of world textures and it actually is mapping properly um, let's see we're almost to where we're gonna go to the mansion uh, also just some other things shields now block hundred percent of melee damage when you have it pulled up and you're blocking uh, your hunger bar you can actually see it when you're in a boat or a minecart so you can actually see how hungry you are uh, the spawn eggs are now sorted alphabetically and yes there is a llama egg and I already told you about the text and there's a ton of bug fix I think all we have left is to talk about this little change 
Uh, now there are more items you can cook with. Uh, as fuel, you can use uh, carpet, you can use wool, you can use all this stuff. You can use sign, door, ladder, uh, bow, fishing rod, and a, and a boat. The reason I have these kind of separated this way is to show you how, how much fuel you get out of or how many items you can cook. So in order to cook one item with carpet, you would have to have three. Uh, in order to cook an two, uh, one item with wool, you have to have two. As, and that's the same with buttons and the bowl. You have to have two to cook one item. Then these guys, they cook one item exactly. So if you have an extra sign, you can cook one item. Or a door, you can cook one item. Then we have the ladder, bow, and fishing rod. And these takes two to cook three items. So they cook 1.5 items alone. But in order to cook three items, you'd want two of them. In other words, you're just wasting 0.5 of your cooking energy. And then a boat will cook two. All right, so there we go. That is the big things in here. Now we're going to go on a little quick, well, hopefully a quick adventure. Where did I put my map? Oh, did I get rid of it? I think I put it over here, didn't I? We need that map. There it is. Whew, our woodland map. All right, so we're going to put it in our hand. As you can see, it's actually the opposite direction. It looks like it's more of this way. So we're going to try and fly just a little bit. We're kind of a small dot there. Um, oh, and we'll probably have to turn it off peaceful. Uh, game mode. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Uh, difficulty. Difficulty. Let's do one. We don't have anything, so. So we're kind of going this way, I'm believing. We're going to watch that little dot. Might, it should get bigger. Right now, it's pretty small. Let's go fast. Hello? Can we go fast? Oh, there we go. Speed! Alright, well this might take a minute. I'm going to go ahead and keep flying this direction. When I get close, I'm going to show you the map again before we actually get to the, the woodland uh, mansion. So, I will say, oh look, another village. <laughs> I don't get easily distracted. Alright, so I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. I just had a thought. Actually, two thoughts. One is, I noticed that this says level 2 of 4. So I'm wondering, can we actually make it bigger like we can other maps? Can we change the scale? And I don't, I don't think we use paper. I think we use empty maps, right? So I wanted to quickly check that to see, one, if we can make it bigger by doing this. <gasps> yes, and we even get nine of them. <laughs> Wait, scaling one of four. Wait, that's the same thing. Let me check it real quick. No, it looks about the same. Or is it, oh wait, is that copy? Maybe use paper? To, I can't remember. I think that's to copy the map. This one, scaling 104, 204, 104, 204. But that just gives us one. Let's check that. Oh. Okay, I think we broke something. Okay, so we don't want to scale it. <laughs> that could be a bug. I'm glad I copied it first then. My second question is, uh, when we get there, and we're still far away, I've been flying for like five minutes at top speed and still haven't seen it. But uh, when we get there uh, and we die and stuff, I want to quickly go back to our villager. I wonder if you bought a second map from if it be different or if it's the same one. So those are two things. So uh, I just wanted to check the scaling thing real quick and it doesn't look like that's a very positive thing. You can't really change the scale. But uh, I'll see you in another minute. I want to go down here. I want to just see real quick. Maybe there's another librarian. I just want to see if one, he gives us the same one and we'll actually also check if, uh, are you a cartographer? Oh, perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. Get some emeralds. Let's get a couple emeralds. I want some. Oh, no. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh. All right. Well, now we. Oh, actually, I guess I didn't have to do that. All right. Oh. All right. <laughs> let's see. 
Y'all stinky horse. Yes, he is. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We want to see his next trade. We need a compass. Let's go grab some compass eyes. Compasses. Right there. Uh, change that. Ding, 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 ding. Make him really happy. <laughs> All right. Stink it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now he wants emeralds for some map. There we go. That's good enough. And hopefully now we'll... Nope, not yet. We have to wait for him to stink it up. There we go. Okay, so that's the ocean. That is a woodland. So we're actually going to try to get a couple of them and just see if they're all the same. So we're going to buy one, two, three. Uh, yeah, that's all we can buy. That'll give us an idea. Oh, get rid of those. All right, so let's check these real quick. Yep, that's the same. That's the same. And that's the same. Okay, so that answers that question. Uh, we need to start going a little bit north because we're going down too far. So I think we want to maybe go a little bit on the northwest now. All right, back to west. All right, well, that answers the question. Uh, he just sells us the same one. If I'm far, far away and I find another village, if I went the opposite direction, it'd give me a new one. Look at that. I, they're both... It's like singing stereo. All right, well, I'm going to continue flying. Uh, we answered our question, and uh, we'll find this place. So I'll see you in yet another minute. Okay, we're back, and I got some bad news. We actually did all this, and for some reason, my drive got messed up or something. I don't know what happened, but uh, I lost all the footage, so we're going to do it again. So I just wanted to show you, if we go here, you can see we've already been there, but I wanted to show you the dot get bigger. Ha ha, that means we're close. So I think we can start kind of heading down-ish. It's just up here. I had to fly all the way back here again. <laughs> and it is far. Oh, look, there's some llamas. Hello, llamas. Let's go fast. <laughs> all right, so um, we will see a roofed forest coming up here shortly. And then we'll be there. Oh, I just wanted to cry. I was going to edit all the footage and I noticed one of them said it couldn't import and it was missing. I was like, no! Alright, so this is over on our, our left there. It looks kind of like a roof forest. Oh, this is definitely a roof forest. There it is! Oh, look how big it is! <laughs> and as we get closer now, you'll see our little arrow moving in so uh, these have three floors um i don't remember if we talked about it but the first floor and the second floor are basically the same and the top floor is usually a bit smaller and let's see it looks like our entry point is right here because there's the thing now i've lit this up quite a bit because we came in so any torches that are on the ground were us but as you can see it is pretty dark in here and we're not going to go explore, but there's lots of rooms, lots of chests, lots of surprises. And I just heard a her. And I'll show you where we actually beat the dude. Well, we beat them all. I guess right down here we had three torches in the doorway. Right here. So we whooped them in there. Uh, there's another one in here though. Here's my shoes and stuff. We let a witch kill us <laughs> to, to test uh, whether the The totem would work if it was just in your hot bar and no it doesn't we died All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna armor ourselves up and we're gonna go fight those two guys again Where's the helmet? Helmet That witch take my helmet I'm not going to open the chest. 
Don't want to give away some of the cool stuff you might get. I don't see my helmet. Oh, there it is. Let's go in there. Oh, there's a compass and some other junk. So, yes, we did confirm that the guys were dropping. Hello. Oh, there we go. Where'd he go? Did we get it? Oh, we got it. Okay, so we're good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and equip our shield and equip our sword. Oh, look, our little blank map came up. <laughs> Alright, so as I recall, there was another one just upstairs. Or there might even been one down here. No, no, no. Alright, we're going to go upstairs real quick. We're going to come out of creative. Oh, we're going to whoop some tushé. So this is the Vindicator right here. And right now he can't see his axe, but when he gets angry, he pulls it out. Maybe we'll hurry and kill these two guys. I think that guy... Actually, wait, are you the Vindicator or are you the... I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> I can't remember. So we're going to come right here real quick. We're going to go ahead and maybe clear up our inventory a little bit. And we're going to jump out of creative. So just to give you an idea... Oh, and there's one other thing I want to do. S -E -D. This is the seed in case you want it. Uh, that's the seed for this wonderful map. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and pause right there. You can pause and look at it there. We're going to turn off F3. We're like, but I did want to point out that uh, these are really, really far away from where we were. I mean, we're at 12,000, negative 12,546 on the X and negative 12,072, or not negative, positive 12,072 on the Z. So very, very far. Okay, let's go beat up this guy. I think he might be the the wizard dude. Hello. Oh, I'm still in creative. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I did seed instead of game mode. <laughs> Alright, let's do game mode. Game mode zero. And we are a bit hungry, but that's okay. I think we can still beat him. Oh, yep. So as you can see, he's raising his hands up. He's eating, invoking, evoking the little wraith dudes. So our best bet is to draw him out real quick. Oh, I don't have my shield equipped. Okay, well we took him. As you see, he did drop an emerald. And where's my shield? There we go. And then we're gonna go beat this guy up. He's gonna. There you go, there's some of those little guys. And you'll see that they actually go through the wall. They are, they seem to be on a timer. So if you don't kill this guy quick enough, and there's his bear trap. All right, I think we've seen everything we want. We just want to hurry and kill this guy. Oh, we got us twice. Okay, we got him. So uh, now you have these little guys, and you'll see they their little chest turns red when they're gonna fight. And I, they're basically two, he two hits each. Did I get him? Come out! Shake it. Woo! <laughs> they just fly everywhere. Ooh. Got that one, one. They are tough, though. So, anyway, that guy, the Evoker, is a kind of uh, mini boss. He wasn't really hard to kill. Still hearing lots of <laughs> yeah, these guys are, these guys are a lot tougher than he was. <laughs> Missed. Because they go in the wall. Ow. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Let's see, is that all of them? I saw something down there. Ow, jerk. <laughs> Got that one. Looks like there's one outside. All right, so um, let's see. Do we get another totem? I don't think we got another totem. Jerk. Get away, get away. <laughs> oh, God, one more. I look okay, that one despawned. So that looks like we got everything. 
And those are the guys. And it, oh, we did get it. We just didn't see it. So, and then we did test that if this is just present in your hot bar, you do not respawn. So we're gonna go find someone else to kill us. Here's someone right here. Another evoker and a vindicator. Oh yeah, there we go. So there we're dead. Now when we respawn, let's go back into game mode one. And as you can see, when I originally spawned, I was, I think, right about there. You can see just over the horizon there is the village. Right there is the desert temple. And that's about it. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Helps me tremendously on YouTube. And I'm apologizing for it being so long. But we had lots to cover. And I think we did a pretty thorough job of covering it. So, like I said... Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Hey, nitwit. They're just punching bags. <laughs> Alright, bye.